An airline trade group says this year could bring sky-high record profit for the world's carriers. Some are luring more business than first-class flyers with roomier seats and tastier meals. As Ben Tracy shows us, one big name is turning to science and top chefs. One shiitake, one clam. Chef Linton Hopkins is king of his kitchen at restaurant Eugene in Atlanta. There's little details that are going to determine whether or not you have excellence. But Hopkins is now taking his talents to a culinary wasteland. The most maligned of all menus, airplane food. It's so bad it has its own website, filled with pictures of mystery meat, cheese sandwiches, and what one passenger called bread with seasoned tuna crap. Is part of this about trying to defy expectations? Absolutely. Uh, I know for a fact no one should have bad food anywhere. Linton Hopkins, we're happy to have you. Hopkins won Delta's cabin pressure cook-off. His menu is now being served on board. The airline is hoping to land coveted premium class passengers. They make up about 15% of the seats on long-haul routes, but account for as much as 50% of the revenue. Hopkins found cooking for them is not easy. Certain foods just die, like ice cream is great. Sweet really works. It's heightened, it doesn't diminish. Subtlety can fall away. At 35,000 feet, food simply tastes different. That's because the humidity level in an airplane is just 4%. Our sinuses close, our mouths dry out. Our sense of saltiness decreases by 30%, sweetness by 20%. It's not going to be just about salt making something taste good. We're really going to dial up uh, the aromatic components. So Hopkins' menu has a lot of flavor. Pickled shrimp and sriracha mayonnaise. There's Creole fish and dessert is both sweet and salty. There's a cliche about airline food. Peter Willander oversees Delta's onboard services. The airline prepares more than 9 million meals each year. Imagine that at 35,000 feet. And has its own sky sommelier to pick out the wine. When you're trying out menus, do you actually taste the food and taste the wine up in the air so you know what it tastes like? We, we do. And we have our sommelier or our chefs go on board and do that as well to make sure that what they've selected uh, on the ground actually has the same appeal up in the air. Better airplane technology will also help. The new Boeing 787 Dreamliner increases humidity levels to 15 percent. That means the food on the plane will taste four times less plain. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Atlanta.